afternoon, good evening, whatever part of the world you are right now. Uh, welcome again to our discussion regarding AVRs on alternators or generators. AVR stands for Automatic Voltage Regulator. Guys, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification button as well so you'll get notified every time I have a new posting. Well, uh, on my first uh, discussions about this, part one and part two, we have asked you some questions on the test mic portion. So the first question is, is it possible to use a certain uh, value of voltage adjustment rheostat or voltage adjustment device on a specific AVR. Our AVR is having a resistance value of 1K ohms or 1000 ohms and power of 1 watt. So can we use a different value on this AVR? Meaning if we're having a higher or lower resistance value or a higher wattage value. Let's say you have a problem on your remote voltage adjustment, defective one, and the spare you have on board or in your facilities is a different value from the original value of the required voltage rheostat. So at least we have an idea what is the possible uh, replacement or what are the possible remedies so we can still use our generators without having the same specific uh, voltage rheostat. Okay? So I want to thank uh, Sir Edel, who one, one of the guys who had comments on this posting. Uh, he suggesting that we can replace it with uh, higher wattage but the value of the resistance should be the same. Well, we'll start by discussing first on the resistance value. Resistance value, yes, it is important that uh, we install a specific value on this AVR. The thing is, what if I'm going to be installing a value of 5K, meaning a higher value. The spare I have at the moment is 5K ohms. Now, can I replace the 1K with the 5K ohms? Definitely, as long as it has the same wattage of 1 watt. So how is that? Well, if you're going to break this down, 1K is the original value from 0 ohms up to 1K ohms. Now, if I replace this with a value of 5K ohms, my 1K now won't be spread all over this potentiometer turn. So what will happen is, I'll be having a 1K somewhere on this portion only. And this is the 2K portion, 3K, 4K, and this is my maximum turn will be 5K ohms, okay? So now, if I'll be having a 5K ohms, but the specific requirement for this certain AVR is 1K ohms, then the 1K is somewhere from this point up to this point only. So I can adjust the voltage of the alternator only from this point. Because from this point up to this point, it's quite hard to get the exact value. There won't be much movement on my voltage since it is moving into a higher value of resistance, which is the effect is this will create a higher voltage on our alternators. So I can use a 5K ohms, but the thing is, I can only play along on this portion because that portion is the 1K portion. And it will be quite difficult to adjust on exact value because a very small variation on the resistance whenever I turn the potentiometer will have a huge effect on my alternator output voltage. So yes, I can use it, but it's quite difficult to adjust because it will be a very small movement and it will have a huge effect on the alternator voltage. So yes, we can use, but it's quite difficult, right? Number two, what if my wattage goes beyond 1 watt? 
let's say 5k oh sorry 5 watts so the available potentiometer spare that i have is let's say 1k exact value but the thing is it is 5 watts can i use it here on this abr definitely not because the crt3 electronic crt3 of the abr can only work on a 1 watt potentiometer so if I'll be using a 5 watt potentiometer, it will generate a higher current inside the system, the electronic circuitry. So it might uh, cause malfunction on the ABR. Higher wattage creates higher current in the circuitry. So it should be specific that we use the correct wattage. But on the resistance value, yes, we can use the higher value. But the thing is, it, it's quite difficult to adjust because it will be have it will have a very small variation and a huge effect on the voltage movement on our alternator output all right what if i don't have a spare potentiometer i have a defective potentiometer i don't have any spare on board or in our facilities so what is my option your option is to install a bypass okay just remove those two wires that uh, directly work to your potentiometer, remote potentiometer, and install a jumper. Actually, the ABR, out of the box, it has a jumper. The remote potentiometer is just an option, optional, if we want a remote voltage adjustment. So every ABR, it has a potentiometer jumper or link together. So if I don't have a remote, adjustment that link stays there but if i have an optional remote on the switchboard or whatever location on your facilities or on board the vessel then we need to remove this and install the potentiometer so if i don't have the spare potentiometer i'll just install this jumper and i'll be adjusting the voltage of my alternator via ABR voltage trimmer. So every ABR, it has a voltage trimmer. So we just need to adjust it via the ABR voltage trimmer. Alright? So this is another ABR for Hyundai. It has a voltage trimmer as well. That one. Okay? So every ABR, it has a voltage trimmer. Okay? So we will adjust it on the ABR itself because we have a defective remote potentiometer all right so i hope guys we have learned something from this topic and we will be discussing on my next uh, video uh, is it possible to use an ebr with a voltage input of 240 volts maximum into an alternator which is which has a voltage rating of 415 volts 415 volts Right? So we'll discuss it on my next video. Again guys, thanks a lot and keep safe.